just when we thought we saw it all with Sar Aegorn, the literal amorphous blob Jedi Master, we may have found another set of Force sensitives to rival Aegorn in the realm of the unusual. Although the practice was looked upon unfavorably by the Jedi Order, and ultimately rejected by them outright, the Order benefited from the services of Force-sensitive droids in the decades prior to the Clone War, and within the Clone War itself. These Force-sensitives were known as the Iron Knights, a group of droids who were fully trained as Jedi. In this video expose, I will describe the Iron Knights, a group of Force-sensitive droids that fought for the Jedi and the Republic. The story of the Iron Knights begins with Jedi Master Aquinos, who served the Jedi Order in its final decades prior to Order 66. Following his obtaining the rank of Master, Aquinos was heavily criticized by the Jedi High Council in regard to his unconventional beliefs regarding droids, beliefs that he was teaching to the students of the Order. He believed that it wasn't merely organic beings who were sentient. Rather, Aquinos believed that droids were also a form of sentient being. Having undergone years of independent study and research, Aquinos attempted to bring his beliefs into fruition, and attempted to combine the Force with technology. These pursuits resulted in the Jedi Master being deemed a heretic by the Order, and ultimately cast out. Following his banishment from the Jedi Order, Aquinos traveled to the Outer Rim planet of Orax, about 40 years before the start of the Clone War. The planet, which had only been recently discovered and colonized by the Republic, allowed Aquinos to come into contact with a species known as the Shards. Shards were a silicon-based species that appeared in the form of irregularly shaped cylindrical crystals, that were only about 30 to 40 centimeters in length. It had only recently been discovered that the shards were sentient, wherein the faint pulses of light within them were discovered to be electromagnetic signals. Upon discovering the fact that they were sentient, colonists outfitted the shards with translator units that allowed them to translate their electromagnetic pulses into understandable speech, and which translated audible speech into electromagnetic pulses thereby allowing for communication between the humans and the shards. When Aquinos came into contact with the shards, he discovered that a number of them were Force-sensitive, despite the fact that they were inorganic beings. Benefiting from his years of independent research on bonding the Force with technology, Aquinos was able to place a group of Force-sensitive shards into droid bodies, including Juggernaut War Droids, FLTCH series droids, and Yulshos Justice Droids. Aquinos' knowledge of technology allowed him to successfully imbue the Shards' Force abilities with their droid bodies, thereby ensuring that none of their Force sensitivity was lost. Having removed these Shards from their homeworld of Orax and taken up residence on the Outer Rim planet of Dweem, Aquinos started training them in the ways of the Jedi. After ten years of intensive training upon Dweem, Aquinos concluded that the Force-sensitive droids were fully trained Jedi, who he'd by then dubbed the Iron Knights. Viewing them as complete Jedi, Aquinos and the Iron Knights emerged from Dweem and assisted a team of Jedi, including Mace Windu, who'd been intervening in the Arcanian Revolution on the planet of Arcania. Despite successes and the valiant efforts of the Iron Knights, they weren't able to gain favor with the Jedi High Council following the revolution. In fact, the High Council was shocked and horrified that Aquinos was teaching the Shards about the Force, who they viewed simply as inorganic crystals and incapable of truly understanding it. Therefore, following their assistance of the Jedi in the Arcanian Revolution, Aquinos and the Iron Knights were excommunicated from the Jedi Order, However, roughly 30 years later, Aquinos and the Iron Knights again emerged to assist the Jedi and the Republic in the Clone War, fighting against the Separatists and their droid armies. Given their prior excommunication, the Iron Knights were not accepted by the Jedi Order in their actions throughout the war. But they were accepted by the Republic, with Supreme Chancellor Palpatine granting the Iron Knights the title of High Marshal within the Grand Army. 
Despite the fact that they were known to Palpatine, Aquinos and many of the Iron Knights were able to survive Order 66 and retreat to hide upon the planet of Dweem. Ultimately, the Iron Knights were approached many years later by Luke Skywalker, wherein they would assist the Jedi in building his new Jedi Order. So there we have it, the four sensitive droids that fought for the Jedi and the Republic. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For Jedi Battle Droid!